In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Artist Loft Premium A5 Hardcover Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Artist Loft notebook. Let's go over the specs. This is kind of the jacket that comes on there and it sits, you know, right here, wraps around and I managed to rip it when I opened the book. So sorry about that. But basically we've got 80 pound, 120 GSM paper. It is an A5 size. And again, we have that 180 pages, ink proof, acid free, lies flat, you got a table of contents, we have test pages, expandable pocket, two page markers, and elastic pen loop. Lots of features here. This is considered an artist level two. So Artist Loft is a brand for Michael's art supply store, and I guess this is level two. I don't really know how high they go up, but it's not entry level, I guess. I don't know. So. The notebook comes in a couple of different colors. It comes in black. I kind of like this taupe color. And this is a notebook that was recommended to me by someone on Reddit, and it seemed interesting. The price of this notebook is retail $10. Normally with coupon is $8. It seems like you can always get 20% off of this. So we have a faux leather cover here. Feels pretty nice. On the back, we just have a sticker saying it's made in China. It kind of has a, a little bit of a cushion to it, and it's for a hardcover, it's pretty soft. Uh, it's not a soft cover. I've found that you know I can write with this on my knee and it, it still works as a hardcover, but it's on the softer side. So we have a nice elastic here, this kind of beige paste down, not particularly exciting. Then we have a table of contents here, place for the subject, page number, color code, and notes. Another page two pages for table of contents. Then we have a key, which I think is specifically designed for bullet journaling. There's a bullet code, color code, marking code. And then here we have page numbers. And then we have two bookmarks, a kind of brownish beige color and a lighter off-white color. Goes well with the, the colors of the, the book. And then in the back, we have our pocket here elastic pen loop, pretty skinny one. And then we have something that I've never seen before, which is test pages. So you can test out the paper in the notebook. Now if you notice, on my notebook they're blank because I didn't pay close enough attention to realize that these test pages were here, so I did my test pages somewhere else. But it's a really cool thing because anytime I get a new notebook I'm usually filling it up testing it with different pens, and it's pretty cool that they, they include this. I also quite like the way that they do their, their page numbers here. Whether I like the font or not, I'm not 100% sure, but I like that the dots go all the way to the bottom here and the edge here, and they just kind of carve out a small space for the page number. I think that's really quite nice. Now, let's go to a paper test that I did here. The other thing I should note is that this paper is pretty blue looking as a comparison to this Midori Nemosini paper. You can see it's quite a bit more blue. It kind of reads more gray, but it's a, it's a bluish gray color, and this is considered a bright white paper. So it's, it's blue, which is interesting. In terms of the performance, let's take a closer look here. We do get some feathering on the super wide six millimeter pilot parallel. For the Mont Blanc, there's just a teeny, teeny, tiny touch of feathering. Lamy Safari, no feathering. Sailor Professional Gear, no feathering. You do get a little bit of feathering on this Oto Fude Ball, a 1.5 millimeter roller ball. That is a super wide roller ball. A little bit of feathering on this Uniball Air Micro roller ball, which is a 0.5 millimeter roller ball. Now, other than that, there really isn't any feathering to note. Now, 
On the back, we have some bleed from the Pilot Parallel, no bleed from the Mont Blanc OBB, a tiny bit of bleed from the Sharpie, a little bit from the Copic, which usually fails, oil pen, the Stettler permanent marker, a little bit of spotting here. I don't even know if you can see this. Just a little bit of spotting from the Oto Fude Ball, a little bit of spotting from the Uniball Air Micro 0.5 millimeter. Other than that, all of the other pens had no bleed through. And it's 120 GSM paper, which is quite a thick paper. This is a very fountain pen friendly performance. You can go quite wide and wet with this and it'll take it quite well. Now, this is just some other pens that I tried and on both sides I wrote, you don't see anything really in the way of ghosting. You can totally write on both sides of this. We do have some bleed through here. This is from a, a pen slot warbird nib, which is kind of a, a custom stacked nib. This is a Sailor Naginata Togi nib, which is a very wet wide point nib and really good performance, I think, from this notebook or this paper. I'm really quite pleased with it. Now, in terms of signatures, there are 12 signatures, which is very good for 180 pages. You can see, you know, the glue there. There's no headband, but I mean, come on, for $8, this is really nice. And in terms of lie flat performance, or actually, let's talk about the binding first. Binding, or the, this is really, really flexible here. And even though this is a thicker paper, it's very flexible. The binding is quite nice. And lays really flat. Now in terms of lie flat, because it is a thicker 120 GSM, 80 pound paper, when you fold over the pages to make the signatures, you're getting something that's thicker. So if you had a thinner 80 GSM paper with the same number of signatures, that 80 GSM version is probably gonna lie a little bit more flat. The binding is really nice. You do have that thicker paper, which, you know, kind of counteracts those 12 signatures a little bit, but it does lie really flat. And I'm very happy with the, the performance of this notebook overall. So what are my pros and cons for the Artist's Loft Premium A5 hardcover notebook? Well, the biggest pro for sure is the price. Retail is $10 and it's normally available on sale or with coupon for $8. That is one of the cheapest A5 hardcover notebooks that I've come across. And this notebook is actually, in my opinion, quite good with fountain pens. It has thick 120 GSM paper, and it holds the ink really well. There's no ghosting, really, and very little bleed other than on like the absolute widest and wettest of fountain pens. So it's really an impressive product. The layout is really nice. You have numbered pages. You have a table of contents. You have a key for bullet journaling, which is really nice. Not really something I've seen in a lot of other notebooks. It has 12 signatures. It lays flat. So what are my cons? The Artist Loft brand is a Michaels art supply store brand. And I believe Michaels is only in the United States. So if you're outside the US, this notebook probably is not an option for you. The other thing I don't love the paper is pretty blue. This, by comparison, is a Tomoe River white 52 GSM notebook. And you can see, you know, this is quite a bit more blue. And I noticed that the first time I opened it up. It's still pretty white, but it's more blue than what you're probably used to. In terms of other cons, there is a touch of feathering. Now, I personally do not find the feathering to be bad at all, and I think fountain pen wise, this is a really good notebook. But if you hate feathering, there is just a touch of it with those wetter and wider nibs. And that's really it. If you're in the United States and you're looking for a nice budget A5 notebook, this is a really good choice. Now, one other quick thing that I'll say, 
Michaels does not do a particularly good job of distinguishing the premium notebook from the standard notebook. So if you're shopping at Michaels, you want the one that has these non-rounded corners and you want the one that's retail price $9.99, not $6.99. So that is the Artist Loft A5 hardcover notebook. If you guys have this notebook, if you like this notebook, let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.